the point is that three kinds of processes number one is the processes the process sorry about spiritual evolution what human beings are doing as spirituality in a spirituality way or in a spiritual way second thing is the intellectualism on the intellect the level of intellect evolution is also there and the third evolutionary process which we do not accept which i come to destroy at the end which is so called darwinism uh, or his natural selection or something like biologically people are, have a tendency to change with the period of time and they just you know change their whole system into another system then to another system then to another system we don't believe that first of all first two processes first two processes is actually the reality and people get confused and they mix with the third one and when you mix this with the third one that's your gravest mistake how you see the taxonomy given by these genetics for the study of people who or statisticians who do study regarding this human sociology this philosophy bio, biological stuff genetics all these kind of things what they have taxonomy according to them the origins of human beings or homo sapiens or you can say the anthropological subjects they tell you that the origins of human beings have the main name hominidae and hominidae come hominids hominids after that you have many you know faces like gorillas and they have the same taxonomy family and then keep going on keep going on after that you have new and they're tall those people are extincted and then you have with this homo erectus erect means erect something you are standing up and the humans start walking by standing up with the stature and the body and this is called homo erectus then homo erectus change into homo sapiens etc these all things are speculation all things are speculations human beings according to islam according to prophet muhammad peace be upon him adam alayhi salam came with the same intellectualism which human beings are exfoliating Allah say oh Adam we have given you all we have taught you the all the names common nouns proper nouns and now human beings genetically evolutionary process of intellectualism genetically they are getting this sharing the knowledge of Adam alayhi salam which was inbreded in him and we are sharing it through the gradually the period of time when prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam came the philosophy on the grounds of socio political economic system reached to the culminating point in the human's history and that is why he is the last prophet nothing new been taught after the demise of prophet muhammad peace me you tell me what human beings learn nothing they have the system they are just manipulating it nothing new is given research on yourself nothing science is exfoliating political laws are exfoliating or manipulating economical laws political laws or social laws all these laws are being manipulated adulterated on the grounds of evil or on the grounds of change etc but the things are finished ended human intellectualism on the grounds of learning ability has reached or had reached to the highest culminating point at the time of prophet muhammad peace be upon him nothing comes after him if there is show me you are exfoliating it that's all you are just spreading it you are making it to cultivate in the human beings that is all har ko ja bini jahan e rango bu wherever you find the things of morality the knowledge the supremacy of anything in the humans humans conduct har ko ja bini jahan e rango bu a ke as khakish baroyadar zu ya ze nur e mustafa ura bahas ya hanuz e andar talash e mustafa either this all human beings subconsciously following prophet muhammad peace be upon him or they are unaware of his teachings either way you lose the case either way you following him by the hook or by the crook or by the ignorance 
but you have to follow Muhammad because Muhammad sallallahu is whatever he gave us that is the culminating point of human history you don't need any further instructions culminating point in all the fields respectively so this is the point I was making so yes we do believe in the evolutionary process of spiritualism to communicate with God Almighty Yes, there is Allah. Allah says, see your horizon, see everything in front of you. See your own existence. If you try to deny Allah, then tell me how did you come about without nothing? You see people challenging that we created this, we, cre we create that, we create, we do genetics, we do this, we do test baby, you know, baby test tube, we, and we can, you know, uh, manipulate genetics and all that stuff. We can produce, we can change the sexes, we can change, do this, we can make uh, artificial organs, we can, we are gods. What Allah says in the Quran? Why are you wasting time? Allah says, produce the wing of a mosquito. Produce the wing of a mosquito. Do not waste your time. Allah didn't say that, that manipulate the matter and produce something. Wood is given, you manipulated it and produce into secondary sector, then to tertiary sector, and you produce that into chair and table. Allah didn't ask it. Allah says, produce the wing of a mosquito produce it out of nothing that is the challenge how tiny thing is the wing can you make the properties of the wing no you can only change and manipulate other properties and you make something like of the wing but you cannot produce wing out of nothing that is the challenge you are not paying attention to that god almighty says in the holy quran stop the death let's see who who is who was able to stop the death at his time or now even now let's see who has a guts to stop the death which is inevitable phenomena phenomenon stop it that is what Allah is saying the challenge which Allah is giving you follow that challenge don't make your own challenges and you know derail people from the straight path you can't this is not the challenge produce something out of nothing matter is given to you you are manipulating it you're not god god has given you this intellect to to manipulate <laughs> you don't have any ability to produce show me where is the production of that you are manipulating it so spiritual communicating with god almighty through prophets giving you message and this has reached to its final stage and now Fitnight Dajjal, the commotions of Antichrist is the main purpose to remove, to show you that evolutionary processes of spiritualism has no place on this dunya. It's all false. It's all your personal feelings. It's all something created in your, you see the prefrontal lobe area and this is all emotions. These all things you see in your part like an animal. So forget it. So why? What happened? Then human will become like an animal. Because if there's no religion, there is no akhlaqiyat, no good conducts, morality, nothing, everything. You will be act like a human being, worse than pigs and swines. So remove this part. No, that is the reality which the kuffar do not want. Atheists do not want because it provides social, social justice. They don't want it. Second, evolutionary process of intellectualism. Insan, gradually, human beings are gradually increasing their knowledge to the passage of the token of time Allah has given them analogical induction to analogical deduction inferring to see infer think contemplate make something input then output then you have the previous data that mix that data into the new data the computer has given then match this data and take out the third result theories and then those theories, if they are too much convinced, convincible towards all the scientists, it becomes the universal law. But every law, even the universal law, has the tendency to change over the period of time. Because science is not culminating point. Human beings are learning, continuously learning. And subhanAllah, this intellectual thing is different us from the animals. Allah says in Surah, Chapter uh, Rome. Allah says in chapter Rome, verse, uh, chapter 30, verse number 20 and 21. Allah says that the changes, the variances in your faces, color, and the tongues 
are the miracles of God. Do we see any animals who have same faces? Do we see any animals? No. The only mammal who is walking on the surface of the earth who can speak who can be able to speak the use of utterance to express himself to express itself and speak and variances in the tongue language and color and face only human beings subhanallah no other animals on earth whatever you call us the only people who are only animals according to biology human beings who has these all abilities that is what Allah says you are the best one of the best creation that is enough proof to debunk the theory of Darwinism all the animals have same faces they could not express they can speak their own languages but they are unable to express the feelings we can express our feelings from our mouth that is the miracle talk about that bring any person or you this hominids and all this stupid nonsense bring those people and tell me why they look alike why their faces were not different why they're different tongues no the only animals and that is Allah Ar Rahman merciful God Allah al Quran he has taught you the Quran Khalaq al Insan has created Insan Allah al Bayan so the definition of human beings is that he is be he is able to express himself if any animal you find on the surface of the earth and which cannot communicate it's not insan don't waste people time remember this it's not insan this is second process the last one the third processes process you call it evolutionary which is false of Darwinism still theory that is enough proof I already have given you that you should be what you should do the people who believe in this nonsense you should create something show me the people in the middle for example this homo erectus show me why the homo erectus are still alive or sorry extincted and the gorillas are still alive where the middle part of all the people of taxonomy gone away where did they go and why their faces are similar why the human beings faces are changed you know why because Allah says he created insan and those hominids whatsoever fossils if you really true if you really found those fossils all these fossils in the Tanzania I think so somewhere like place like that and you research the good those could be animals Allah says in the Quran that we have created animals who walked on two legs four legs so they could be animals why are you telling them that they are then the taxonomy of human beings this is our you know exception don't bring those people into humans taxonomy you can make bring them into any taxonomy human beings are alone their birth are in the origins are alone and nobody is able to deny till yet and that is the truth all those people you created oh sorry people all those the things the pictures you have those are different species different animals some were extincted some were not like gorillas are still there but the only thing which is, which is able to express differences in the faces, color and all those things are the human beings and that is the human being. Talk about that. Produce something from the human being that those people were different and we are different.